What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I wanted to make this video real quick. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, cause I get asked a lot when I'm playing Fortnite, when I'm streaming Fortnite. Uh, I mostly stream it on PS4. And like, I know, it's meant to be played on PC. <laughs> and to be fair, the game runs like far better on PC than it runs on any other platform. But there are a lot of people playing at home, using controllers, playing on consoles, etc. And when I play, I use a scuff controller. I've been using scuff controllers for a very, very long time. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is just something I get asked a lot. So I figured I'd try to help you all out. So this is the controller I've been using for the most part when it comes to playing Fortnite. And you'll see on the back of it, it's got these, oh, don't do it all faced out. Don't no, get the controller. Come on now, come on now, camera. Come on now, camera. I'm just gonna hold it here because you're being an a-hole. So there's two, there's two paddles on the back on mine. Now some scuffs have two paddles, some have four paddles. Um, I don't know if there are any with six paddles. Are there any with six paddles? I'm not really sure. But these on the back are clickable, okay? So let's head over to the game real quick. So in Fortnite, obviously you gotta do a lot of running, a lot of moving, a lot of building. Etc. And what you're gonna have to do more times than not is is build either when you're in a gunfight or you're about to get into a gunfight or when you spot multiple enemies at once. And there's gonna be times where you need to do more than one thing at once. And the scuff controller makes it like super easy to do that. So let me show you for example. So let's say I don't have a scuff controller. Okay. Let's say let's say I need to build a wall. What I need to do is I need to take my thumb off of the right stick and hit the circle button. And like, yeah, there's the claw, th like with the, if anybody out there is actually good playing like that, well, I give you props, cause uh, I've tried that before and um, mm -mm. But on the scuff controller, I have the circle button set to this paddle right here. You see that? Every time I click this paddle, it goes flippity floppity. You understand what I'm saying? So instead of having to move my finger, so now what that means, what that means I can do is I can build while I'm turning. Instead of having to like, just just jump and then do this and then try to change, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get your ass killed. Let's be honest, it's gonna get you killed more often than not. So being able to, to just build real quick, boom, right off that button and then be able to turn around and build anybody that was shooting behind me just now, they don't they don't have a shot on me anymore. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a it's a super quick way to get your materials out and make sure you're not getting shot from directions that you should not be getting shot from. Let me give you another example. So on the other paddle over here, that's my X button. That's my jump button. So what that is going to do is that's going to let me keep once again my fingers where they need to be on the thumbsticks. So if I'm jumping with A and someone is shooting at me and I have to switch and I have to try to jump and shoot this guy and everything that I, like, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna absolutely kill me 99% of the time. But if your jump button is back here, right? All you're doing is jumping and you still have full control. You still have full control over where your aim is. Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's at the house now. Oh, oh. That wasn't a very good example because my aim just went everywhere. But you understand what I'm trying to say. So setting, uh, setting those buttons to correspond uh, with the back paddles is not only like a time, and I say time saver, it's like a half of a second. But in a game like this, when you're getting shot from all directions, like a half a second can be, you know, everything or nothing. Can be the difference between a victory royale and a second place, which not like I get in second place, nine games out of 10, and then rage and throw my stuff everywhere. That doesn't happen to me six out of seven days of the week. Shut up. I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't necessarily know how the scuff with the four paddles operates. I'm sure it probably gives you even more control if you want to uh, sync one to pull. I'm not I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how how precise you can be. It's not as easy as key bindings, you know, key bindings on your on your keyboard and everything. You can set whatever button uh, to be whatever action. And you don't have as much control uh, when you're using a scuff controller, but at the same time, it's giving you more control than if you just had a regular old controller. You know what I'm saying? So the prices can be a little steep for scuffs. You know, you, usually they're gonna be over $100 for a controller minimum. Uh, you know, if you want one with, with four paddles and extra vibration and all this other stuff, obviously it's gonna be a lot more. Um, but to me, I've been using scuff controllers since the Call of Duty days. Since the Call of Duty days, because your boy has always been, say it with me now, booty. So any so any sort of like, it's, it's, it's so good in shooters. It really, really is great in shooters. Being able to jump 
and being able to use another button and still be able to keep your aim like it, it in this day and age where competitive gaming is so mainstream and it's becoming uh, such a bigger part of of just gaming as a whole like the competitive side of it it's it's almost imperative to like to have something that's going to keep you on par with everybody else or else everybody's just going to be 10 steps ahead of you you know what i mean so if you're able to pick one up people ask me all the time chris do you recommend it i absolutely do recommend it because i use it all the time when i'm playing on console uh so if you want to pick one up i'll leave a link down to their uh, website below again this is not a sponsored thing. I don't have a discount code. I'm sure someone has a discount code. So if any of your, uh, if y'all got some favorite streamers or YouTubers or whatever, I'm sure most of them probably have uh, scuffed discount codes. He took the ammo. And, uh, and that's that. That's that. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, and if you do pick up a scuff controller and you know you, you you're a little better with it, let your boy know. Say, oh, hey, Chris, your advice helped me out greatly. I'm, I'm a new, I'm a changed person. I'm a better man because of you. Thank you for that. It means a lot. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hit that thumbs up button before you go. Stay tuned for more. And uh, good luck. Good luck out there in Fortnite land. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Peace.